The summary of In Search of Excellence, brought to you by Click Through College. In Search of Excellence, authored by Tom Peters and Robert H. Waterman Jr., is a foundational work in the realm of business management. Written in 1982, the book studies successful American companies and identifies eight essential principles that contribute to their excellence. These principles, distilled from an in depth analysis of 43 prominent companies, provide valuable insights into what makes businesses thrive and stand out from the rest. The principles are a bias for action, staying close to the customer, autonomy and entrepreneurship, productivity through people, hands on value driven, stick to the knitting, simple form lean staff, and simultaneous loose tight properties. The authors posit that these principles form the fundamental pillars of a successful business, contributing to their resilience, adaptability, and, ultimately, excellence. Although the book has faced criticism over the years, primarily because many of the companies it extols did not maintain their performance, the core tenets laid down by Peters and Waterman continue to hold relevance in today's business environment. Their emphasis on people-centric management, customer centricity, a strong organizational culture, and a focus on core competencies resonate with contemporary management theories and practices, making In Search of Excellence a timeless guide for businesses striving for success. A Bias for Action The book begins by highlighting the importance of a bias for action. This principle extols the virtue of being proactive and quick to act, rather than getting mired in analysis paralysis. Successful companies, according to the authors, implement a do it, fix it, try it approach. They prefer real world trials and experiential learning over lengthy planning stages. The emphasis is on doing rather than deliberating. In modern organizations, this principle encourages a culture of experimentation. Rather than waiting for a perfect solution, these companies recognize that acting and learning from outcomes, even failures, are paramount for progress. They understand that most decisions in business are reversible and can be fine-tuned based on the feedback from the results. Staying close to the customer. The second principle lays the foundation for a customer-centric approach. The premise is that understanding customers' needs and preferences can only occur when a company maintains close and regular contact with them. As such, organizations should focus on quality and service, seeking to exceed customer expectations. Successful companies in the 21st century take this principle to heart. In the era of social media and big data, companies can maintain an ongoing dialogue with their customers, leveraging technology to understand their needs better, and to provide personalized, efficient service. Staying close to customers allows businesses to pivot when required, remaining flexible and responsive to evolving market dynamics. Autonomy and Entrepreneurship the third principle focuses on the organizational structure and promotes autonomy and entrepreneurship. The idea is to create smaller units or teams within the company, which function semi-independently, encouraging an entrepreneurial mindset within the larger corporate structure. By creating a sense of ownership and autonomy, organizations can encourage innovative thinking and improve decision-making speed. Such a structure helps companies remain agile and adaptable quickly responding to industry changes and new opportunities, which is particularly important in the fast-paced digital era. Productivity through people. People are the heart of any organization. This principle emphasizes that employees should not be viewed merely as workers, but as valuable assets who drive productivity and innovation. By creating an environment that nurtures employee growth and facilitates strong teamwork, companies can enhance productivity and creativity. In modern workplaces, this principle translates into fostering a positive work culture, with emphasis on employee engagement, continuous learning and development, and recognition of individual and team contributions. When employees feel valued, they are likely to be more committed, motivated, and productive. Hands-on, value-driven. Leadership plays a critical role in shaping an organization's culture and success, and this is the crux of the fifth principle. The author suggests that effective leaders are hands-on and value-driven, leading by example and inspiring their teams through their actions. In today's corporate world, this principle underscores the importance of ethical leadership and corporate responsibility. Leaders of highly regarded companies, such as Microsoft's Satya Nadella or Tesla's Elon Musk, are often seen as embodiments of their company's values and missions. Stick to the knitting. 
This principle implies that companies should stay true to what they do best, their core competencies. They should resist the temptation to diversify into areas outside their expertise. The phrase, stick to the knitting, essentially means staying focused on the areas in which a company excels and resisting distractions. In the context of the current business environment, while companies need to innovate and adapt to changing market dynamics, they should not lose sight of their unique strengths and core capabilities. This principle serves as a reminder to companies not to get lured into unrelated businesses or markets without considering their expertise, resources, and the potential impact on their primary operations. Simple form, lean staff. The seventh principle advocates for a lean, simple organizational structure. By reducing hierarchical layers and bureaucracy, companies can enhance speed, efficiency, and communication. They argue that the fewer barriers there are between the decision makers and the frontline employees, the better. In today's context, this principle resonates strongly with the rising trend of remote and flexible working arrangements. Successful modern companies, such as Spotify and Zappos, have adopted flat or agile organizational structures, allowing for greater fluidity, collaboration, and communication across departments and teams. Simultaneous loose tight properties. The eighth principle is perhaps the most nuanced one. It recommends striking a balance between maintaining control over core values and standards while allowing flexibility and autonomy in other areas. Companies need a tight adherence to central values to maintain their identity and direction, while a loose approach fosters innovation and adaptability. This principle can be seen in operation in companies like Netflix, which has a strong culture defined by high performance and freedom. They set clear expectations about their values and the outcomes they desire. But how employees meet those expectations is largely up to them. These principles were not presented as a rigid framework but rather as common characteristics observed in successful companies. However, it's important to note that, in search of excellence, has had its share of criticisms. One major criticism is that many of the 43 companies the authors held up as models of excellence did not sustain their excellent performance in the years following the book's publication. Some critics also argued that the selection of companies was biased and that the conclusions drawn were overly anecdotal. Despite these criticisms, the enduring popularity of In Search of Excellence testifies to its influence and relevance. The principles that Peters and Waterman identified continue to be applicable in the modern business context, even if they need to be adapted to fit changes in technology, market conditions, and societal expectations. For instance, the principle of staying close to the customer has only gained importance in the digital age, where personalization and customer experience have become significant differentiators. Similarly, the emphasis on a people-centric approach aligns well with current trends in employee engagement and workplace culture. In conclusion, In Search of Excellence remains a seminal work in the field of business management. While its findings may need to be interpreted in light of current conditions, its core message, that companies achieve excellence not through strategies and structures, but through a focus on people, action, and values, is timeless. As businesses navigate the complexities of the 21st century, these insights can provide valuable guidance for the road ahead. The Summary of In Search of Excellence